What's up, you guys? Uh, this is Justin, a.k.a. Remnant, and welcome to another episode of Remnant Builds, the second episode, actually. Um, it has been a long time. Uh, the holidays um, definitely got in the way of me recording, which is fine, which is normal. Um, but I hope that you guys had a great Christmas or a great Hanukkah or whatever you guys celebrate, and uh, I hope that, like, so far, it has been an awesome new year for you guys. So... We are in the park that we were working on. Um, something terrible happened last time. All of my, all of my work that I had done, I accidentally, I accidentally saved over it. It was a rookie mistake, and uh, I'm a loser. But luckily, I was able to save most of those um, as blueprints, and I was just able to plop a lot of the buildings down. And here we are today. It ended up working in my advantage, to my advantage, because. Um, some of the layout I just wasn't happy with, and I was able to just go in and redo it. Um, and make it a little bit better. So we are in the parking lot um, of the park right now, which is very unfinished. But let's go ahead and take a walk and see what we've done. All right, so over here um, is the picnic area. Um, there was a picnic area in the, la in the last um, version, but it was it was it was a bit extra. Like it was too much. Like there's just too much going on. There was like a cafe and there was like an arbor. Um, covering things and no I, I just wasn't wasn't feeling it um, so I kind of simplified it and uh, just added you know some nice shade with the tree um, some some nice shade from the umbrellas put a little bit of a backdrop with with um, those trees back there um, behind the hedges and I'm really digging it really feeling it really loving it so let's go ahead and go over here um, this is the new uh, like bathroom area um, the other ones before were just, I just wasn't feeling it. Like, I just wasn't feeling what I made. So I, I just started everything over again. Uh, and this is one of the buildings that I didn't save as a blueprint. So I was like, you know what? That's fine. I'll just use it to my advantage and make something new. Um, it, this is super basic looking, but, um, it's a good basic. I really like the way it looks. Um, it, it's kind of a bigger bathroom because it's the it's the first bathroom that like you know people would use um, before entering the park. Uh, this is the uh, the entrance where you present your ticket, um, and you, you guys saw this before. This is the same exact thing that I had built last time. This is the same fountain that I built last time. Uh, the only thing that we changed was like the actual paths. I made it a different one. I think it looks I think it looks a lot better. It was too red before. Um, over here on this side is uh, the new ticket area. So before we use these buildings that you see um, flanking this middle uh, annual passes uh, one, we use those and we kind of just like placed them and kind of scattered them and clustered them and it just wasn't, it just, I, I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> I've said that already 10 times but we're gonna keep going. Um, wasn't feeling it so I just decided to add this little, this middle area just to anchor it all. And uh, I think it just looks it looks a lot better, and it looks a little bit more realistic. Um, the other one was kind of like twisty and turny, and I didn't like it. So uh, redid this part, and I really like how it turned out. Um, you'd obviously go here before entering over here, uh, just to have your tickets ready if you don't have them already. Um, and then on this side, we have a little guest relations area, um, and a, a, a random spawn point right there. <laughs> because I'm lazy. Over here, um, you'll see like these little, um, this little garden area. Um, I really like how it looks. I kind of like how the rock plays with the terrain changes. Uh, I think it, in my opinion, it looks, <laughs> it looks natural, um, but also very, very man-made, which is what I was going for. And I just really like the, uh, the shade, the good shade. So let's go ahead and go through these gates and uh, see what we got going on. So as soon as you walk through, uh, this is what you see. This is the view that you get. Um, we'll go over there soon. Um, I really, I, I tr when I when I build parks, I try to escape from like, oh, you need to start with the main street, and there needs to be like a train station right there. And because I'm so used to Disney parks, and I'm so used to. Um, that layout. So I still did a main street, but as you can see, once you get to the end, it makes like kind of like a, a sharp left turn. Um, and so I, I didn't want it to be like straight. Uh, I just wanted it to kind of like 
be curvy and do its own thing, kind of like how a real street would be. But on this side, we have the Emporium, uh, which is like the main gift shop. Um, this was a super fun one to build. Uh, I just think it looks super inviting. Um, I really like the color scheme. It matches a lot with the um, with the color scheme of the ticket booth. Um, so let's go ahead and go to this side over here. So I guess like, oh, I didn't cover that. Oh, well, didn't cover that bin, but whatever. So um, I guess, you know, guests with uh, that either need lockers or strollers or wheelchairs would go over to this side um, first before proceeding to the rest of the park. Um, and over here, these strollers were made by the Gaming Koala. Um, he has awesome pieces that he's made. Um, and I really like these strollers because um, they have a relatively low part count, which was something that was um, really important for me because I tend to kind of like <laughs> use a bit too many pieces in like other areas of the park. So I wanted to make sure that these assets didn't um, didn't add a lot of pieces because I really want to spend time uh, adding pieces to the architecture rather than the assets of the park. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to make my own soon, like popcorn stands and stuff like that. I'd really like to be able to make those myself. Here's this. There's no lockers in there because I'm lazy as fool. Across the street is um, these uh, restrooms over here. I don't even think I've put restrooms in there yet, but that's what they're there for. <laughs> uh, there's some backstage access right there. Um, and then over here is uh, my first terrain change, uh, my change in elevation, which is a lot easier than I thought. Um, I didn't know that you can change like the sensitivity or the intensity, I guess is what's called on the terrain tool, which is so stupid. Um, but yeah, this is kind of going to kind of lead to another part of the park. Um, don't look over there. It's the future. Yeah, this is a very unfinished building right here. Obviously, those windows bless their hearts. Yeah, I kind of really like this nook and cranny. This nook. I guess I guess you wouldn't call it a nook and cranny. It's just a nook. Or is it just a cranny? Over here on the right side of Main Street, you have the Lost and Found uh, and the First Aid Building and uh, also some more backstage access um, and uh, some more of the uh, very lush gardens. This, this park spends a lot of money on uh, its landscaping, which I love. Um, so yeah, it's a nice place to sit, wait for your loved one to get like patched up or whatever. So we are going to go on to the right side and we're going to start with the coffee shop. Um, I love the way these buildings came out. Um, they are super fun to make. It's This was a challenge to stay in scale for me, um, but I think I did it. I think I did it, especially when people stand next to it, but you can't really tell because there's no one going up to it because <laughs> all of my staff members have quit. Staff member right there. Hello? Go over there. There's literally a place that's open right there, dude. So moving on, I this side is uh, basically just a facade for what I imagine to be inside of the Emporium. I just imagine it all to be connected and um, you can enter through here as well. Um, but shout out to Mineral Junction. Uh, he he kind of gave me this idea when looking at his park, um, World of Steve, I believe it's called. I really suck at names of any kind, so sorry about that. He did these like shingles um, on the on the walls using art shapes, and I loved it. <laughs> but he did it on like a whole building, and I knew that I wouldn't be able to do that because I have the the attention span of an animal that has a really short attention span. Uh, I just did that, and I think it looks cool. It's a little cool detail, whatever. Um, I, tr I did a window here, and I put a lamp in there. Moving on back onto the left, the right side, uh, more backstage access over here. Um, and also guys, this is my favorite building. This is my favorite building in the park, like I gotta be honest. Um, so this is a restaurant. Um, it's just like a sit-down restaurant, like it's counter service, but then you can, there's some seats in there too. Um, I am comparing it to the food and like the feel that you would get at the Plaza Inn, I believe it's called at Disneyland. Um, I've eaten there a lot of times and I'm such a fake fan for like not even remembering uh, the name of it. But we're going to say it's the Plaza Inn and I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, but they basically have like fried chicken and like... Um, like mashed potatoes and biscuits and so yeah that's the kind of food that you get in there um and i am blinking uh, so 
Over here, across from it, is another one of my favorite buildings and the most recent addition. Um, it is the merry-go-round, the double-decker merry-go-round. Um, and I really, 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 really like how this building came out. Um, it was it was a lot of fun. I've, I've become a lot better at making these um, round buildings. I, I, it used to take me such a long time, but doing roofs and stuff is not as hard for me anymore, and I'm excited about that. Um, so the inside is a little, it's a little ghetto. It looks a little ratchet in there, so we don't need to look in there, but it works. Like, the double-decker looks good in here, which I'm really excited about. And over here, okay, this is going to sound stupid, but this is literally my favorite part of the park <laughs> so far. It's, like, this little pathway with, like, these string lights. I think it looks so nice, and I would love to just, like, sit here and, like, get a snack or something and just, like, sit here, especially at night. I think it looks really cool, um, and I'll show that later. But um, through here... If you go over here, this is a very, very unfinished restroom. Um, obviously, it's very unfinished. Uh, but there's like a little ramp up here. Um, and actually, this is like where everyone enters because I just didn't like how the in-game paths looked going up here. So I just built some steps and their, sit, their feet sink into the path, but whatever. Uh, it works, I guess. Uh, going over here is also a very unfinished spot, but also one of my favorite places. I think it's going to be one of my other favorite places once it's done, but it's this seating area. Um, and it's another slight change in elevation. And I really like how you can like still, um, still see the carousel, but you still have like a sense of like privacy because of this, these hedges and this planter over here. Um, and I might add some string lights over here, maybe. Um, but it's going to be really cool. Uh, and it's kind of like a divider for another land that I have in mind. Um, and it's going to be overlooking it over here. So there's like another elevation change. Um, and it kind of goes down even more. And there's going to be like a courtyard and stuff like that. Um, so I think that you guys will really enjoy it. Um, if you come over here, there's like a big, huge lake. Uh, which I don't really have anything in now. Just like a boat ride. Um... But I, I imagine this park having a lot of waterways, um, and the main transportation will be um, by boat. Um, so I'm not sure yet if I'm going to build a train station. I, I do want to build one, and I do want to have a train just because I really enjoy seeing trains, um, especially in a theme park. So we'll see what I do there. Um, but this is a, another view of the carousel and... Um, that my favorite pathway <laughs> um, over here some unfinished planters um, but you can kind of see like what it's going to look like once it's a little bit more done up um and then there's this building not sure how i feel about it yet um i'm going to introduce like some more like wharf feeling things and there's going to be like a, a wharf over there um as kind of like a separate land district area whatever you want to call it i don't know if i want to keep this here or move it over there i just i don't i'm not i'm not sold on this building yet um but for right now it works it's a placeholder i guess for another one i do like the building though i do really like it i just don't know if i like it here yeah so that's all i have right now guys um this is what i've been working on <laughs> for the past like month and a half the time that i do have i'm very thankful for i just wish that i had more time to dedicate to it um but i really hope that you guys enjoyed it um i was so surprised by the amount of support that i got on my last video i wasn't expecting to have so many um so many nice comments and um and support so i'm so thankful for that if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to um this channel and follow me on twitter at remnant boy and um i'm gonna have some probably some nice cinematic shots after this i'm really gonna try to have uh some better ones because the last one was a little bit a little bit on the ghetto the ghetto side so um i will try to have some nicer ones i've learned some nice tips and tricks i will also try oh my i don't know if that sound played in the video but it just scared the crap out of me because i'm wearing headphones um but i <laughs> i'm going to get a mic hopefully soon um a nice recording mic so i hope that you guys have an awesome day and i will see you next time later mm -hmm.